Hey everybody, it's Kyle, one of the world's leading experts in fasting with another fasting lesson for you. With all the chaos and the craziness that's been going on right now with the coronavirus, I want you to think about something. You see how people have been raiding and hoarding food and people are scared that the food supply is going to run out. It's not, but people are acting like that. Now, I want you to ask yourself a question. What if you couldn't get food at the grocery store anymore? And this blows up the whole fake fitness expert notion that you need to be eating multiple times a day. We are not designed for that. We're designed to go primal right now. I know people were scared out there. I'm not going to be able to have my, my, my bagels and my donuts and my pretzels. We are not designed to eat like that. Think about if we didn't have access, which I know is a thought because people were reaching out to me on a lot of people's minds. If we didn't have access to grocery stores, where are you going to get your food? You got to go out and hunt and you got to gather, which means you're not going to eat very often and you're not going to eat a lot. Maybe you have a feast once in a while. This ties in exactly to the panda diet philosophy of fasting and fasting for a little bit longer periods. People, everybody needs to realize that this is a, 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 not a primal way that we eat nowadays. We were never meant to, to eat multiple times a day, to eat stuff out of boxes and whatnot. Eat stuff that grew from the earth and once in a while, once, twice, whatever, have animal meat. Think about this, right? You can use this situation we're in right now. If we were really cut off from the grocery stores, what are you going to do? What would you do? Just try to imagine this in your head. You would have to go out and gather fruits and vegetables and whatnot corn, things like that. And maybe you'd kill a deer here and there. But that's it. We are designed to fast. This is what we're hardwired for. Right now, you got to be thinking go primal. Now is the time to step it up as far as putting yourself under a little bit of stress. It's called hormesis. It's low levels of stress applied to us to make us adapt and become stronger. Why do you think I practice fasting every week? It's to become tougher. That's a big part of it. To become tougher mentally and spiritually. To know that you can handle situations like this. That you can thrive in situations like this. You really got to ponder right now. If you've bought into the whole notion of the fake fitness experts eating multiple meals a day. Eating protein at every meal. That whole thing just got blown up because I know they're all freaking out that they might not be able to get their animal meat because supplies are limited at the store. They're not going to be able to have their post-workout shake all the time. It just blows up everything right in their face when you're actually put in a situation where things, perceived-wise, are actually going to become scarce. They're not going to be, but it's a great lesson for all of us. I know many people had that thought. What if I can't get any food? Well, what are you going to do? You're not going to eat that often, and you got to go out, gather, and hunt, and eat stuff that is natural for our body, stuff that grew from the ground. You kill an animal once in a while. You get to eat that. But that's it. There should not be heavy, heavy protein at every meal. There should not be frequent feeding. You should be going a day, at least a fasting day every week, at the very minimum. But this is a great lesson. Use fasting, and by the way, I was talking about last week, a three-day fast will reset your immune system. For those of you that are scared about what's going on uh, from a medical perspective, nothing you can do for your immune system is better than fasting. Nothing, not even close. A three-day fast will reset your immune system. Two-day fast is great as well. So that's what I got for you today. I'll be putting this up in the Fasting for Fitness Facebook group. And I'm very happy to announce that the first Panda Challenge is starting next week. Sold it out like that. I actually have 
put quite a few people on a waiting list for the next one. So this is going to be a game changer. The book, uh, I'm just adding to finishing touches. I have people proofreading it right now. So we're moving full steam ahead. You guys let me know what you need as far as fasting or fasting questions. And I'll be back probably later this week with another fasting video. Peace.